guys, I've got the Citadel Painting Station. It's a big box, and it sounds if it's plastic inside it. It shows you on the back here, which is nice and tempting. Also from Citadel, nice paints and brushes and all the rest. But uh, unfortunately, they don't even give you a free sample of brushes or paints with this coil. You just get a big box and a little bag. We'll get rid of the box. This is our painting station. They've even managed to engrave Citadel into it just slightly. This is our little painting station. Designed for you to sit on your knee. And we have the little bungs here. I'm sure you really want to see them. You can't even make them out in that camera. Little bungs here. I'll even do you a building video while we're doing this to show you how to build a Citadel painting station, as I would call it. All you have to do is stick your little bung in each corner, just do little rubber things just to stop the boil moving too much. Fit in bung, now do what you're told. Uh, we just stick these in each corner once you get it. If they would behave, behave bung, behave. They're just little rubber stoppers to stop the tray sliding about if you put it onto like a hard surface, a, a table or whatnot. But besides that, that's basically all you have to do apart from stick a few paints onto your tray and then that there, yeah, that does a good job, stops your tray from moving. And then you get a few of your paints, like so, and stick, stick them in the little slots. You have your little circles here for your cups and your little bits here for your brushes. I didn't bring any brushes with me this, at this stage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I would, there'd be nine across the top. 17 pots of paint, guys. I made one of these trays myself out of a piece of wood. And I have little double rack this height. And it sits about 40 to 60 pots of paint, depending if I gather up most of my pots of paint. And it's still not enough. So 17 on here, you'd really have to be selecting from your paints of which ones you actually want it, rather than uh, just saying I'll stick all my paints on this. For me, these little like cup holders here, I know it does show you in some of the artwork in the box, you, you get one of the little things off Games Workshop that uh, sits in there. That. Uh, hold your paintbrushes, you know, in the water. I don't know, I would have had these deeper that some would have sat into them. There is room there to make them deeper. You do have your handy little handles on the side. And if I slide back a bit in my chair, yeah, it would sit in your knee. So you could sit and watch EastEnders or as I do during the day now when I'm not working, the professionals guys, you should watch it. It's on daytime TV. Uh, if you're not working, you can't, can't sit about, TV on, radio on, computer on, painting away. For me, it has its uses. I'm not going to say this thing's terrible and it's it's crap. It is an actual useful piece of kit. For me, I would have liked more storage for paints. They could have had these things a lot closer together to get more paint pots in because, guys, I don't know anybody that's going to get 17 pots of paint. But all in all, very useful little thing. While you're sitting about at night, you can be painting away the very best. Handy little thing just to be storing your stuff in. So it's easy to pick up and carry about. A good useful bit of kit, guys, even though I do complain a bit too often. But you can leave your opinion, guys. Stick in some comments if you think this thing's worth whatever they're charging for it. I, if I got one for free, I wouldn't refuse it. But would I pay for it? I don't know. So I'll go on guys, try to get review some more killer stuff.